Okay, to continue on now, we're going to talk about how we can shorten the Makate reins up and make ourselves a really nice long lead rope out of this deal. If you need to do some groundwork or cross a creek or pony another horse, well, then you'd have plenty of rope to do so. I'll demonstrate now. And if we can get a clear shot of this through here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the outside rein, just like we're gonna shorten the lead rope like we showed in the last segment. And I'm gonna put this over the neck, over the back behind the pole here, just like that. And then I'm gonna pull the slack. And as I go, I'll stay organized here. So I'm just, again, I'm taking all the rope on the right side, all the right rein, and I'm pushing it through the wraps. You just keep pushing and you pull the lead, you push this up and pull the get down. There you go, it's all right. There's, okay, to where it's <clears throat> adjusted in a way to where if I, if I drew on this to lead him forward or whatever direction I was going and I had this draw here going, that that heel knot wouldn't with the hackamore wouldn't slip down and rotate down and bump him in the chin. So this is actually, it's much like a Fiador, and that'll be for, have to be for another time, another video to explain what that Fiador does. And, uh, but this, just like the Fiador, it supports that heel knot from coming down and hitting him in the chin. And so <clears throat> I just want to set this up to where I can put a little down tension there and it's supported. And that's how I know it's right. If it was too long, then I would be able to touch his bottom lip here. So that's a little sign that you know that you're close because you're not able to do that, it's supported. Then if there's gonna be any pull at all, I mean, you want the horse to come on the slack, but if he gets hung up, uh, you get in a real life situation as I call it. Um, this isn't gonna damage the hackamore. It's not gonna pull on the nose at all. What it's gonna do is it's gonna draw up on the on behind the pole here. So that's your base of support. See how you can follow that down? And so that's the feel that we're talking about. So now I have all this lead rope here and I can lead him around. I can pony, I can get on another horse, I can pony him home for whatever reason. There's a lot of reasons why you might have a loose horse and he needs to go back home, okay? And so, it just really never ends on the ranch, all these different situations that you would come into. The equipment is very, very well suited for, for ranch style work. This whole system of doing things, uh, the Makate and the different diameters, the different Bosal diameters, how they're made, uh, all this, it just keeps going. It's a huge subject. And uh, maybe if we meet sometime, we can talk about, about that in more length. But for this video, I just wanted to show you that it's a really nice way to be able to lead your horse. Thanks.